What is going on boys and girls? Adam Luce here. Welcome back to another video of Moving Weight Fishing and it is about 7 in the morning and I'm with John Woolley here. And it's just me and John today. We haven't fished in a couple of days. It's the middle of June. Things kind of die off in the middle of June. You know, there's not really much to do. A little bit of bottom fishing, but we're going to make it happen. Vermilion snapper, mutton snapper, grouper, kingfish. We're just going to refish. So we're going to start the morning by catching bait. Let's head out there. Straight teams. They're, I'm literally looking at them. They were literally all deep. They are all deep. The amount of bait here. You get the answer now. They're deep, yeah. I got the answer. Oh, I got the They're all deep. Like, push, 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 push. Two teams on top. I can just call them off the top right now. Oh. Dude. What is going on? What? what? Do you see this? John, what is going on here right now? The amount of bait here is, is genuinely disturbing. I've never, this is the most bait I've ever seen in my life. Look at this, dude. They're all deans. This is unreal. This is, I, I'm just shook. Really am. I'm shook. Literally all deans. Hooks. They're just, they're literally putting with the greenies. They are. Have I ever seen this sport in my life? No? Have I got something? Do you? Alright boys and girls, what's going on is we got really nice tide out here. We're gonna go ahead, me and John trying to anchor up, do a little bit of mutton fishing. Sit out the fly lines, catch some kingfish, hopefully muttons, groupers. We're just gonna do this all day, hop from little rock to little rock, fish a couple wrecks too while we're at it. We'll see what happens, but sending out big Johnny here. So what John's doing is he's putting way up in front and to the outside a little bit of this rock and uh, that's where the mutton sit out in the sand. So we'll let the anchor, oh we went actually, we went like what 300, 400 feet in front of it? Yeah, I went straight in front of it because the tide's Yeah, strong. tide's smoking. So we're going to let out a lot of scope with this tide and then tie it off and those muttons will be swimming way out. They don't really sit on, I mean a couple of them do, but they'll, they'll, they'll make their way over when they smell my sardine. Or am I actually nice green? I'm not a Dean guy for the bottom bait. Stanker now. You tell me. <laughs> you tell me. The tide is screaming. Holy smokes. Look at this tide. Holy smokes. It's good for mutton fishing. Look. Look at this. We're anchored now. Look at how fast seaweed's moving past us. Look at that. Look at the mark. John's gonna fish his bandit reel over there. Actually, Chief. Chief, if you're watching this, I'm sorry to hear it, but you're just missing out on the light top line. I'm gonna put the pit light line out. Send it out. Got a big light on there. We'll tail hook greeny. And I'm gonna set mine up. And I'm gonna put the drone up first to see, see what we can do. The drone. Get on your 
fishing game. Right John's here. got another king on here. Oh yeah. Scooch! One on the bottom run. You guys just saw that one on the drone. And then John laid up on one on the flat line. Oh, sure. A little $4 a pound. Might only be five pounds of kingfish, but you know. You know. By the way, that was my first time flying the drone in like over a year. That was super scary for me. But I did get that kingfish. Oh, he just cut you off. Or me off. Cut you off. But I did get that kingfish on uh, footage. Ask. It was pretty cool. So I'm going to get back to fishing here. You're screaming out like. He went, he got very weird. Nice king on. Yeah, I can. It's all those nice things. Now just get out there. You ain't too bad. He's not a bonita. Are you kidding me? Literally letting my beta. I just just show John up real quick. Oh, oh. Uh, I already got two kings in the boat. You're very ragged. And mine weighs just as much as your four. That's ragged. I'm in the boat. I can't. I literally can't even gallop. He's so small. He's literally. That thing's so petite. That thing is literally the definition of petite. We'll take him though. Yeah, another king. You know your extension. Please press one. Oh, John, 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 John! No, no. Couple kingfish on the hook. I'm, I'm on the phone with my uh, company, too. Makes my shirt. Dude, my feel can need that. Is yours? Yeah, I'm Yeah, he's just kind of like cutting too. Hey, this is Adam. Can I speak to Jen, please? Sorry? I can hear you. Oh, I said hi, this is Adam. Can I speak to Jen, please? Uh, no, Jen is not here. She's coming tomorrow. She's out of the bay. Okay. The bay. Well, um, well, um, I need... I need the uh, mock-up for it, please. I know you had sent me a mock-up originally. Remember, we said that one I didn't like, and I'm my brother bringing the other shirt. light gray you see the back too john's repping his white one if you guys would like to purchase a shirt right now go check it out oh whoa oh my god what what this is unbelievable what's happening what's this king what's too like it's one of those king john did i not say we we're gonna go lay up on the reef today yeah, this is the most laid up reef in wait hold on real quick on my shout out let me bring this king in Eww! What the? Wait. John, I literally just let that thing out. You guys saw me let it out. Okay. Nice, King. Let me finish my shout out here. If you guys like to purchase a shirt, you guys see her moving weight out here right now. Movingweightfishing.com, link down below. I'd really appreciate it. Help support the channel. They're super nice um, performance shirts. John, what do you think of them? I think I just got smoked off the hook. That's what I think. They're very. The shirts, I appreciate that. It's a very nice shirt. Very Look, popular. I smoked this one. You got all three hooks. Oh, I love it. Yes, but I appreciate it if you go check them out. I guess I'm going to let another bait out and steal another one. I don't, John, I don't really know what to say. I don't know. I mean, this is just... He just love a good reef day. I really do. Honestly, Rodney does it so right, though. So right. Because they just organically, like... We got the current, so we're nose hooking these baits. You guys usually see us hook them in the throat so they swim down. We're nose hooking them. They're swimming in the current while we're on the anchor. And King's just coming from behind going, Pew! You'll watch your rod bend over in a second. Oh, John, 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 John! King, king, king! I literally didn't have that rod. Literally the second you put it down. I, I kid you not, sometimes they just want it in the rod hole. It just has to be an honest fishing bite. So small. Look at those perfect hook sets though by Rodney. Dude, Rodney just does it. She's doing what is that? Seven? <laughs> we're gonna hit our we're gonna hit our goal before uh, Yeah, before we had our first spot. Yeah. No complaints out here for that. That was a bump of a lifetime. Oh my laid up on me. Nice big smoke. 
Literally, I'm just fighting Tad here. Yeah. Come on, right? Has to be. I don't know. It's really going this way. No way. Dumped it like a mutton. Uh huh. You know me, John? Oh, look at those ducks! Oh, those aren't ducks. Oh, that thing's hooked to you. Little Scotier. Little J hook doing me right on, on the Rodney. Dude, that thing bit it like a giant. Yeah, it, I literally thought you had it weighed like a 10 pound. Let me Scotia in the box. Gotta keep the buttons nice. Gotta keep it nice. Making it happen out here in the settlement's cut. That was so petite. That was sick. That was actually. Did you have a GoPro? No, I was recording, but it came this guy on it right there, boys. I played that right now. I'm thinking that's great. Appreciate it. You're about to get smoked. Uh, no, I got a lot of back. Dude, they're just coming through a little petite. Oh, 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 he's, oh, I thought that was him. Oh. That you're for that, there's one flashing on my freaking greeny oh, back there. Most petite king. He literally skied on it right there by the boat. So sick. Might be a micro. I don't have time to get my bottom bait back out. I know, the bottom, the bottom bait is kind of like that. You got some hot action, John. I had such a good mutton bite on that. Did you see it? Did you have a good bite? Yeah, on that one, yeah, dude, yeah. doubled over. And I was tight with your rod. Very packed. John just got smoked on his bottom rod here. Okay. Right here, Timmy. We're literally just sitting down here. Okay, Circle hook on him. You know how circle hook does. Right there in the corner. Very circle hook ass. Very right. standard. Very standard. He choked it. He hammered that thing like it was a 10 pounder. Go ahead and let this one go. One time, I let one of John's slots snuck go. I don't want to talk Very about upset. it. I don't want to talk about it. He's very upset at me. I was like, John, can I let it go for the camera? He's like, yeah, yeah, for sure. I let it go, and he's like, what the heck? But another beautiful mutton snapper. Waiting on another kingfish bite. It's been a little bit. I'm gonna do something a little cheap. A little cheap-like here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this kingfish. Yeah, he smoked that thing. Oh my God, was he? Dude, he's eating the chunks I threw out. Look at this. You're literally using a 24 ounce. Really? <laughs> dude, he's, dude, look at it. Look, he's been laying up on all the chunks. Wow. I guess I'll keep coming up. And I and I just hook this right on there, just like that. I'm gonna hook like this. And I got a little piece of greeny on here. And that's gonna get tight. Okay. That's so much. That's, that's very much. It's very sharp. Yeah. Oh. Not another kingfish gut. You love, just love to see it. Larry <clears throat> smoked it. It's a low guy. Did he get bigger? Literally ate me in two seconds. To go for it's a mutton? It looks oh yeah. It's sliding. He's sliding. Looks small. It looks very small. Oh, he'll make it. He's on the line. He'll make it. Kingfish guts right in the mouth there. The old chief secret. This one's a little short, so we're gonna have to send it back. Yeah. Swam right back down. Probably right into a Goliath Grouper's mouth, sadly. I'm just honest, though. I am. I don't start talking crap about it. Yeah, definitely had a king like that. Could just be a king in the current, you know what I mean? Uh, you really don't know. Oh. Dude, this thing got smooth. Why is it so skinny? It's a king. Is it? Yeah. That's a weird looking king, John. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> He's a nice one. I pull, I pull him off here. Looks like I have all the hooks now. Get him, Johnny boy. Get him, Johnny. Oh my goodness. That's a nice one. 
Sad to say it's the biggest one of the day. Oh my gosh, that was a fight. That thing's so dead. I just drew I just drowned him in the water. That's a pretty kingfish. He looks like lit up That's a king mackerel, not a kingfish. Let another bait out, I guess. I literally started talking smoke about him. I'm like, oh, I haven't got a king bite. How's this not get eaten? What he's spinning? Come on, are you? No, he is very very like swimming too. Is he? I almost punched your hook. Nice. Nice hook set there, Lara. No, no, my hook set there. Better than the size of my guy. Yeah, thanks, Tom. I'm a scrap, Johnny boy. I don't know what we need, bro. I don't know either. Oh! The organic soaker! It's awesome. I don't know if it's swimming towards me. I think it's swimming towards me, yes. Oh, about ready to go in. Every time I say, let's move, I want to go in and get more bait. We'll get another I think so too, easy. yeah. That thing's so vagrant they came back with scraps. Yeah, it is. We're gonna get to the rock. Oh my god, you big one, dude. Over 10 pound mutton. Very might need a gap. It's on. Very Giant mutton. Might, might, might need a gap in this tide. Yes. It's a big mutton, bro. How big is this? Yeah. 10, 12. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, that's gotta be a giant mutton. Please, they're not happy, right? Wait, right? Yeah. You pull past you, you wanna get juicy? Yeah, I don't wanna pull through that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that one. That's a unit, boy. Oh, that's a big mutton, Johnny. I told you I had a nice bite before that. Look at the size of this mutton, dude. Nice one. Oh, dude, that thing fought so hard. I let the Chiefs rake down. I would. I knew it was a mutton the second it ate. That was so bad. He choked that. How thing. big's that fish? That's yeah. gotta be close to 15 now. No, probably 10. No, we put. Eight to ten. Uh, he's not. He is not eight, my dog. Eight to ten. <laughs> John's laughing in the back. I want to hear. Oh my gosh! Look how pretty these fish are, dude. Giants. I literally just plugged the greenie, sent it down, and got smoked. That's heavy. Is that a? Oh, that's a big mutton. John, if that's a mutton, don't thumb it. Just that's if, if that's a mutton, I'm gonna freak. I don't know. My line. Feel someone's line. Doubled up here on the Maloosa <laughs> oh. Here, he'll grab this rod, take it close to front. Wow, that's, I was just about to reel that major, major, major. Little mutton. Feels decent and 10 knots to tie. Oh, yeah. I believe they're biting. They're the unreal. There must not be that much on bottom, you know? Oh. He might not make the cut. Little mutton. 
On the bottom rod. On, on the, the bottom rod. On the flat line. I went to pick it up to drop back down and smoke it. I don't think it's a king. I think it's a one. No way. Ow. Oh my god, it's a mud. It's just two rods. Oh, giant. That was a king. A little midwater calling big mutton, baby. Oh, sorry. Big bang. Thank God, sorry. Like him in the face, though. Very Victor esque. These are our boxes looking right now. Nice mangrove, giant mutton, couple other muttons, little Maui. Some kingfish can't complain out here. All right, boys and girls, that's it. We're headed back to the house. Let's see if we can get back to the dock and we'll do a little bit of breakdown on what we caught and what we're gonna get paid. So, couple fish, can't complain. Just got back to the dock here. We're gonna weigh up this mutton. Hold on, John, before we do, what are you guessing? I'm guessing like 10 or 11. He's 12 pounds all day. Literally all day. That's very going in the water. <laughs> That's what it is. Let go. Oh. Oh. 13. What did I say? Very 13-esque. I tried to tell him. I tried to tell John, he didn't want to believe me. Honestly, it looks like an eight pounder. Oh, he literally is a 13 pounder. Like, clear as day, whatever. So we are gonna go ahead and we have to gut the mutton snapper. We have to gut the kingfish, the dolphin, and that mangrove, and we're gonna sell them all to the market. Actually, John's gonna sell them tomorrow. It's a little late, it's like five o'clock right now. We ended up with like 15, 16 kingfish, three muttons, a nice mangrove, a little dolphin. So probably like five, six hundred, five, six hundred dollar day for us. Not too bad, but it could have been better. But this is typical June fishing. I told you in the morning it wasn't gonna be great, but we just may do what we have, you know? I appreciate you watching. If you stuck around this long, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You can do that down below. Oh, I just got thumped. Are you kidding me? Okay, get him. Oh, jump. John's got a petite snook on. I just got thumped in the next year. By this petite. That is a little petite that snook. That is a petite. Anyways, go ahead. go ahead and drop a like on the video as well. I'd really appreciate that. Let's get this video to 2,000 likes. That'd be awesome. And until next time, moving weights out.